I'm Carl Rides for GifGaff and today I'm reviewing the Nokia Lumia 1020. I've had an iPhone 4S for a couple of years now. Before that I had an iPhone 3G, before that a Sony Ericsson phone, and then before that a Nokia 3310. Customization on Windows Phone includes resizable tiles, light and dark background colours, and different coloured tiles. Battery life in my testing is similar to that of any modern smartphone, but Windows Phone also comes with a battery saver option. This is a good feature for people who want to maximise battery life. The Nokia Lumia 1020 is one of the pricier smartphones on the market right now, more expensive than a Samsung Galaxy S4 or a HTC One. It's rubbing up against the pricing of an iPhone 5S for example. However, if you really want a Windows phone, this is a well-built phone for the price point. Windows Phone is very different to iOS and Android, who use more of a grid layout for their icons. Windows Phone uses resizable tiles, fluid, smooth interfaces. In my opinion, it's easy to use and simple, therefore it makes the perfect first smartphone The Nokia Lumia 1020 is one of the best phones on the market right now for its camera. It's 41 megapixels, larger than average sensor, Xeon flash, and you can use apps from the marketplace to take photos and videos, as well as the standard Nokia Pro camera app that comes with the phone. The biggest problem over the last few years with Windows Phone has been its app range. On your screen right now is a list of the apps that I have on my iPhone that I could get on a Windows Phone. And here's a list of those that I couldn't find on the Windows Phone platform. For people who want the latest and greatest applications, Windows Phone at the moment is not really the place for them. But for those of you who want the core apps, the ones that everyone uses every day like Twitter, Facebook, YouTube for example. They are there but they're not as baked or polished as the versions on iOS and Android. The specifications on the phone I have are on your screen now. The reception on the phone was excellent, voices were clear at both ends of the call. The verdict? I give the Nokia Lumia 1020 8 out of 10. The only thing I don't like about the device is that the camera module sticks out about half an inch from the back of the device. This can make it feel a bit unstable when using the landscape keyboard for example. Apart from that, it's a great Windows phone. I'm Carl Rides for GifGaff, I'll see you next time.